Hi, I'm Paul Winterhalter. I'm a principal attorney at Offit Kerman. I, I'm asked sometimes, how did I become an attorney or why did I become an attorney? I remember, I think it was my junior year in high school, I was actually sitting in a room, it was before you know the class started and a girl behind me said, well, what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? She was a cute girl and everything. I said, well, I'm gonna be a lawyer. And she said, really, how do you know that? And I said, I, I just know. And ever since that day, I always knew that I was going to become a lawyer. At that point, I thought, architect, lawyer, architect. Well, I said I was gonna be a lawyer, so I might as well do it. And I went to high school and I went to college. And I remember when I was in college, everybody wanted to be a lawyer. I, I, I actually was the student body president of Villanova University. And at the beginning of the year of my senior year, I was, had the chance to speak to all the incoming freshmen. And I had a little scenario in which I asked everybody in the room who thought they were going to be a lawyer on their first day of college to stand up. And usually about 80% of the people in each of the segments stood up, wanted to be a lawyer. And I said, if I ask you that question after your junior year, half of you would be sitting down. And after your senior year, a third of you would be sitting down. So everybody wanted to be a lawyer, but it, it, was, it was a challenge. And that's how I became a lawyer. There was really no person, no individual, no television show that I wanted to emulate. It, it just was, it seemed to be a noble profession and something that I certainly understood I would have to work hard at, but it was, it was the right thing to do. And I, I stuck with it. And I'm truly happy that I did. When you get your first job at a law school, it's really what you fall into. Um, or at least what you become familiar with. And, and for me, quite fortunately, um, I, my first job out of law school, I worked for a state representative and shortly thereafter, I got a job with the Pennsylvania Office of Attorney General. And in the Office of Attorney General, I was able to work in what, what really amounted to the collections department. So my first job my first real job was really representing the Department of Revenue and the Department of Labor in collecting their taxes and obligations. Well, inevitably, if a company owes taxes and obligations, they're going to have their own financial problems, and as a consequence, they'll file bankruptcy. So in the year and a half that I was actually a Deputy Attorney General, I got to plan spend plenty of time looking at the bankruptcy code, learning the bankruptcy code, and learning what it was all about. So it was really on-the-job training, but it enabled me to really have a very good understanding of the bankruptcy code, how it works, and enabled me to become quite proficient. 